Having an Excel theme is very important in your day-to-day -day work, especially when you are working for a company that is using a specific color theme and you want to use those colors to make your reports. So for example, here if I open a normal Excel sheet, I go to page layout, the default theme that Office uses is this one. And it's not always the one you want to use. Because for example, if I click here and I do insert, and I insert a chart, you can see that the first bar is in blue and the second one is in orange. And it's not always what you want. So how do I change this theme and how do I set it as default? So if whenever I open a new Excel workbook, I can have it automatically. Now, if you look at words, it is easy because under design, you have here your themes, you can create a theme and you have set as default. But for Excel, you don't have this option. So what do you do? I'm gonna show you the methodology that works on Office 365. And then I'm gonna to explain to you what you have to do differently if you have older versions of Excel. So let's start. I'm gonna do Control N to get a new workbook. Then I will go to page layout and I'm gonna show you. So a theme is comprised of colors, font, and effect. If I look at colors, I have several options. If I do customize colors, you can see that our chart had this blue at the beginning and then had this orange. And then if you had more bars, you would have gray, etc. So if I come here and I change this to this color, and then I change this one to this color, for example, and I can change this to purple, I save it as another color scheme. Then I can change my font and my effects. Once I'm done, I can save the current theme. I can give it a name. Here I have test theme, so I can just override it. For you, you can write any name you want. You say save, and then you have your new theme. Now the problem is, if you close this workbook and you open a new one, it's true that you'll have the theme here, but you'll have to come to page layout, click on it, and then start using it. If you want to make this as a default, what you need to do is you need to save it. So I'm gonna show you the export methodology. Under export, you have change file type and then under this you have template if you click on template it will tell you where do you want to save this template so i'm going to show you how to find the path basically you go to documents you have custom office templates you click on it and this is where you have to save your file as an excel template so remove any number that you see here so book two we remove two and we keep it as book and we save it now we can close our couple of excel files this we won't save and we go here we open a new excel file then we go to new personal and under personal you have this book so i click on it and then if i go i say a b one one two whatever we just select it, insert, chart, we get our new color theme. And if we go here, the color theme that is selected is test theme. And this is how it works. Now, if you had an older version of Excel, what do you need to change? Well, there is only one step to change. You still save it as an Excel template, but instead of saving it in the folder I showed you, you have to save it in a folder called Excel Start. So how do you find this folder on your computer? You go to this PC, you type here Excel Start, and then you search for it. I finally got it. So this is Excel Start. You have to save your template here as an Excel template. So this is the only change you have to do if you have older versions of Excel. So let me know in the comment section which version of Excel you have and which of the two methodologies worked for you.